Hi everyone, how you all going? I'm just here at the at a lake. And as you guys know, I've been trying to make me up some crab pots. Made up my prototype the other week. In the last two days I've been making up two new ones. Crab and hopefully uh, freshwater crayfish traps or coda so I'm here at a pretty awesome lake and here are a couple of my traps that I made up it's a bit better than my prototype one isn't it and a trap door in here what is it focus little trap door so I'm gonna set these out here in the lake I've got um, here it drops off quite deep here and apparently it's some nice freshwater crayfish here so hopefully cross my fingers I will get some as you guys know who've been following my channel I've been trying to get them for quite a while and uh, is that still focused oh yeah yep and so hopefully I get some here. This is this is quite a good lake. This is it still focused. Oh yeah. This is quite a good lake to try and get them from. I won't give you the name of it, but I'm pretty excited. So what I'm using? I've got some sardine and some cat food. A few little tins of snappy tom cat food and some sardines so I'm going to try these out first punch a few holes in the top of here and then we're going to throw the pots out and see what happens a few holes Right, that's one out. Let's put the other one out now. See how that one goes. I took my gum boots off. And the water's not water's not too bad, not that cold. good timing. We'll give it probably half an hour or so and then we'll check those. Sit back and wait. Got dark really quick. Right. Oh, I've got my first one. Ah. My first freshwater coder. Yeah. Just 
to swing around. Yeah, look at that one. It's a good size one. Awesome. That was just swimming around in the on the sand. So just picked them up. I was going there to have a look at the pots. And uh he was swimming around so I grabbed it. Right, just got number two. Second second nice little freshwater coder. It's not a bad little size either. I'm just getting these out of the water with my fingers. Aren't they beautiful? They're beautiful. Yeah, we'll carry on. trap here and got one in the I see that. There's one up here. Little one. Yay, first one on my trap. First one. Woohoo. Here he is. Yum. I'm going to draw eating those. Mm, another nice one. Look at them. Just pick them off the sand. Beautiful. Your coda. They're beautiful, eh? Coral daddies, coral fish in the States. These are our ones. Coda. Awesome. One there, look. See him, there he is. I'll try and grab all the camera in my hand.
another one. Oh hey boy. Saw heaps here before. Let's have a look in our creep. Let's have a look in our pot. There's one look. Oh, that's a big one. Nothing in there yet. I'm still here, still having fun, that's what it's about, and getting the koi, it's good fun. Well, right, we'll carry on, we'll go on the other side now, over here, see what's over there. It might give it another half an hour or so and then pack it up, good enough for a feed. <laughs> Go on. Oh. Hmm. That's a nice one too. Look at that. See who is in there. Go on my trip. I'm trying to get one more with my hand. It's just hard with his bim and camera keeps playing it, but he's going too deep. Oh, another one there too. Look, there's two there, and the small one over here. Hmm. See if I can get that. The other two. It's a successful night. Two of them there, look. Yeah, boy.
look at the last one and that's it Three in a row. Got some nice big, nice big fat ones there. We're going to boil those up. Look at those. So we're down here at one of the lakes in Rotorua. We're going to cook up some of these lovely, fresh, tasty, freshwater coda, freshwater crayfish. Had an awesome night last night catching these. I really look forward to eating them because these are like really delicious, tasty little morsels. And look at the size of that one. That is a that's a nice big monster. That one, isn't it? It's a beast. The size of that. That's a beast, all right. Some nice big fat towels on there. Nice little claws. So we'll get the gas stove going and we'll cook these up. Beautiful. I managed to get 13 of these. I'm going to actually put one back in the lake. We'll give one back. We're going to put this back in this lake here and yeah, he's going to be the lucky, lucky one to go home. Okay. The lucky one, my bro. The lucky one. Are you ready? Okay. Come on this rock here. Okay. There you are. You'll be happy, eh? Look at that. Look at that. There you go. Yep, we'll give one back. That's what it's about. You'll be happy back in there. Living the dream again. It could have been a she though. Hey, could have been a she. But that's how we do it. Good enough for a, not enough for a taste anyway. Got 12. Even number. I'll just give it back. Yeah. Yeah, this one, put the in there. The pot on there. Dust off. Pot on. Water. Now, if I was um, back came for Katani, I'll probably go and get some seawater and new seawater for this. But since we're here at the freshwater lake and using freshwater crayfish, we we'll actually put a bit of salt in here. A bit of wind here today as well. That's what we're going to do just salt, fall it up. 
be nothing there, I think. Okay, let's put the lid on. The miniature boils will just throw in the these tasty little morsels. Just stir that salt <laughs> in there. Thought. I was going to get some seasoning and stuff, but I thought no, I'll just use salt. Otherwise, you might spoil the flavour of the of these little things. Tight. Yeah. Smile. Well done. Yep. So we're gonna put a few of these in. Put a few in. I'm gonna go pick quite quickly. Yep, as you they're can already see. colour changing. Big one goes in. They die pretty quickly. They've been sitting on ice blocks and stuff, so try to be as humane as possible. There they go. Delicious coda boring away. Two more to go in there. It should fit, I hope. Get in there, my bro. Oh, you keep them away. There we go. There it is. Put a lid on. Give them about five or ten minutes, and they should be all cooked. Should sure they turn orange quite quickly? Put the lid on. That's it. And we just wait for a feed. Oh, we're gonna have with it. I hummed in hard about what to buy. I went into countdown. And uh, so I put some spicy pity pity sauce. And we've got a um, a um, bread there, a baguette. And it's gonna have all that. And a uh, big shout out to a lady in Countdown who came and said hello to me today. She said, I like watching your videos, me and my sister. And she said, oh, thank you. And um, so I, I didn't know if it's your name, but she would get Countdown. And it was good to say hello to you as well. And I'm glad you like my videos. Hopefully you're going to enjoy this one as well. Because man, I'm getting hungry for some coda. So there they are, they're growing nice and orange now. I've just moved the, the bottom ones from the, up to the top. And they smell just like the big crayfish. Just salt and water, that's it. Nothing else. They're boiling, so I'll turn that water off. Just they are cooked. Off. Oh man, they smell delicious. I was gonna drain the water over here. Drain the water out. Gotta get those cool down now. Oh look at that. How do they look? Delicious. Now the hardest part now is waiting for them to cool down. We'll use a bit of lake water, but there's been heaps of duck shit in there. I don't want to use that water from these beautiful crustaceans. Well, I'll just put them on here to cool down. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. These are cool enough to eat now, so we're going to just twist the body like that. Twist it. Looks like eating prawns, really. But well, actually, they are prawns. Peel the tail back like that. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, they smell nice. Is the old poo sack. Let's pull that out. See? Oh. And there we have it. Lovely little. Can I the first one? Fine. Ready? Really? What's this? Mmm. Mmm. The best part of the crayfish is, the is legs. actually the body. No, the legs. Let's have a little of this in here. Look at that goodness in here. Peel that off. We just go like this and you just suck on all the bones, see? Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. That. Yay! It's so tasty. Mmm. Oh, I'm getting bit in. Delicious. Mmm. She wants a taste, so we just get the old tail off. That one's nice and red. And then I've got to wash my hands somewhere. Pull the little poop shoot out. Nope, doesn't bother me, I'll eat it anyway, but. <laughs> little poop track. Here it goes. I'll just wash my hands first. A minute. What mm. tastes like? It just tastes like crayfish. Exactly, that's probably what it is. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, that's better like that. Very, very sauce. Yeah. Only got three tails left. So it's mostly going to be bread. And some very, very sauce on there. Got the sablum small. And there is our lovely roll. Mmm. That's delicious. Yum. Mmm. Need some more tails in here. But that's alright. Mm. Sand flies. Right, it's just uh, another, another head. I'm going to have a bit of a... Oh, 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 look at that, see? That's it. All oh, that cream in here. A bit of cream. You sort of eat that. Mmm. This bit here, you suck it. See that? Kind of juicy looking. Like that. Oh, oh, oh. It's pop. And there we have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And um, I enjoyed making it. And love going out and catching those coda. Definitely going to do it again. Probably not this lake, but another one. Closer to home. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you all on the next video. Okay, it's easy, bye.